Continuing with our Python tutorials uh, requested by Got Bled To, um, in this case, um, he was referring to SED, uh, which allows you to replace. Well, SED is basically a full programming language in itself, um, but it allows you to replace one of its features. It allows you to replace certain patterns within strings. So we're going to look at how to do that in Python today. So let's go ahead, and I'm just going to go into the Python interpreter here. And I'm using Python 2.7.1. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a string. I'll call it, um, or a variable string. I'll call it my uh, str for my string. I'm going to say there is a way. OK? So that's our, vari our variable, our string. We can print it out by typing print um, my string. There we go. So let's say we want to uh, replace that word is with the word was. So we can say there was a way. Well, it is actually really simple. No modules to import, built right into the default modules in Python. We're going to say print the name of our string, our variable, so my uh, str. And we're going to say dot replace. And now we just need to tell it what we want to replace. So we can um, tell it the original string. So we want to replace is. And what do we want to replace it with? Well, we want to replace it with was. Simple enough, right? We'll hit Enter. There was a way. Now the string, my str, if we print that out, still equals there is a way. We haven't changed the string. We just printed it out different. We used the string uh, function of replace, replaced it, but only in printing it. Now if we wanted to change the actual string, the actual variable, we can say my string equals my string dot replace is was. Um, and we might do that here in a minute, but I want to give you another example here. Um, let's say we had this is our string. Well, no, I'll show you right now how to do that. So we'll say my str equals my str. Now you can create a whole nother variable name for this if you want, but depending on what you're trying to accomplish, but we're just going to replace it in place. We're going to say my str equals my str dot replace is comma was. We'll hit enter. And now if we print out my str, you can see that we actually changed the variable in that case. Now, there is an issue that you can have with this. And that is, we can say something like, let's change my str to equal a string. This is the way. OK. So now we can print that out. My str says this is the way. Let's say we want to replace that is line, that is a word. If we try print my str dot replace if I could type there we go replace just like we did before is comma was and hit enter you can see it changed the is in this so we have the was was the way the was the was so how do we get around this and I tried looking it up and couldn't find an answer, uh, at least not using the replace function for strings. If you know of a way, let me know. I tried doing this. I thought if I put a space here and a space here, that would work, but it doesn't. Uh, oh, wait a second. It does work. You just need to put the spaces here as well. So there you go. I just. I'm tired. I didn't realize that when I did it, I just saw the jumbled words. I didn't realize that I had replaced it properly. I just forgot to put the spaces. So that's how you would do that, one way of doing that. And in fact, I uh, will show you another way of doing it here in a moment, another way that I came up with uh, based on knowledge. I know, obviously, this uh, depending on the situation, I guess, this way would most likely be better. 
Um, but let's say we have a variable, a string variable. We'll say my string equals, and we'll say two is two is two, whatever. I'm just making up repetitive words. Um, so we have that. I can print that out my string and you can see two is two is two in fact let me replace that because I want this to be a lowercase t as well so we'll print that out two is two is two okay whoops knocking stuff over okay so let's say I only want to replace those first two twos um, well it's very simple you can tell replace the max number of strings you want to replace so what I can do here is I can say print my string dot replace and just like before we'll say two comma and we'll say it we'll change it to of just random words here don't forget your print or quotations there but if we only want to change the first two we just say comma two ta-da so we replaced this two to of and this two to of but this two remained the same and of course, uh, we can change that to a one, and it only changed the first one. So that's that right there is the max number of changes it will make. Now, on to another way. Let's say you didn't know about the string replace. Obviously, it's built into Python, so there's no reason not to use it. But let's just say, just for fun, we're going to look at a different way of doing it. So. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to say, once again, my string equals this is the way. So we have that issue that we have is and this both have is in it. Well, what we can do at this point is we can say for i, just as a variable, in um, my string dot split. If you remember our split tutorial, which is kind of like cut, we can say split at any spaces. And then I can say print i. And when I hit enter, it prints each word on its own there. So it's splitting it up by the spaces. And at this point, if we type that in again, and if we do an if i, so our variable i equals is, well, then we will print, or uh, no, then, yeah, we will print was, I'm uh, drawing a blank here. Okay. Yes, that's what I want to do. If it was that, oh, no, I want to say I equals was, and then here, with outside of the if statement, we're going to say print I. And we'll hit enter twice, and you can say it changed the is. And if we do the whole thing again, but put that fun little comma in there that we've talked about, since print automatically puts new line character, but if we put a comma right there, it doesn't. This was the way. So that's a much longer way of doing it. Obviously, the other way is more efficient, but I thought um, if you didn't know the other way, but you know how to use the split function, just I'm trying to teach you guys to... Yeah, you want to do things the most efficient way, but it's also important to use the skills you know. So if you were to do it this way, then later on you learn the other way, you can come back and replace this four lines with the single line that you went through before. But I'm trying to teach you guys to be creative and think. Uh, programming is, is a majority of it is problem solving. You have a problem, you need to write a script to solve it. If you don't know how to do something, think about what you do know how to do, the tools you do know how to use, and use them in a way to accomplish the task at hand. So, yes, always try to do things the most efficient way. Usually shorter lines of code are best. But if you don't know how to do it one way, well, first off, Google it. <laughs> but if you can't find your answer, you know, use what you do know. So I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. I'll try to put the, the, some text information on this in the first link in the description. And I hope that you have a great day. Oh, and also check out the uh, annotation that is, um, we'll have the playlist for the rest of the tutorials in this little short little series we're doing. Thanks for watching.